today on Marvel vs. DC, we have T'Challa and Arthur Curry going head to head. This is a good matchup. We have two kings of advanced kingdoms, both had to overcome a family member to get the crown. Wakanda and Atlantis are both advanced civilizations with technologies the rest of the world has never seen. On the left, we have Black Panther, King of Wakanda. His advantages will be the vibranium suit he wears, his wisdom, and greater experience in fighting. On the right, we have Aquaman, King of Atlantis. His advantages will be his near indestructible skin, super strength, and depending on the terrain, his ability to breathe underwater and talk to animals. Okay, so this fight is based on the movie versions, which means T'Challa is dumbed down and Aquaman isn't as ruthless. And to make this somewhat a fair fight, it can't be right by water but maybe on the ceremonial battleground in Wakanda. When it comes to strength, to me, Aquaman is stronger than Black Panther. So point to Aquaman on strength. Now I know Black Panther does have superhuman strength from the potion that he takes to become Black Panther, but still, I'm gonna give it to Aquaman as I think he's stronger. Next component will be fighting style and technique. As any king and warrior, fighting is one of the things that they are trained in. And Black Panther is not only the king of Wakanda, but he's their fiercest warrior. Unfortunately, Aquaman on the other hand, only got some combat training, leading to Black Panther getting the advantage in combat skills. The technique alone isn't gonna win this fight. Speed and agility will play a vital role in this fight. And again, I think the protector of Wakanda is gonna take this category. Now if this fight isn't over super quick, stamina is gonna play a factor, and that is going to be difficult. The Panther God Bass grants Black Panther stamina. We've never seen Aquaman or Black Panther tire when fighting or anything. But we have reason to believe they both have limits. But whose limit comes first? I'm not sure. I'll call this a tie. Last thing I'm going to compare these two on is intelligence. Black Panther is dumbed down from the comics. In the comics, T'Challa is one of the top 10 smartest people in the Marvel Universe. But again, this is the movie version. And it seems being a young king, they want to show his growth. Also, this allows Shuri's intellect to shine, yet he seems wise. Meanwhile, Aquaman is educated, but he's going for the not too smart surfer stereotype. So I think everyone will agree on this one. Black Panther is smarter than Aquaman. Who has the better weapon? Is it Aquaman's trident or Black Panther's suit and whatever Wakandan tech he has on him? So to recap, Aquaman is stronger, but Black Panther is faster, smarter, more agile, and a better hand-to-hand -hand combatant. One of the key factors to this fight is going to be whether or not Black Panther's vibranium claws can pierce Aquaman's skin. Without it, I'd say Black Panther loses one of the advantages he needs to put Aquaman down. And since I think vibranium claws can possibly pierce Aquaman's skin, I think that I'll give Black Panther the edge in this fight. Because if the fight is not in water, I think Aquaman's best advantage is his invulnerability. And if vibranium claws or weapons can get past that, Aquaman doesn't stand a chance. However, if Black Panther's claws can't scratch Aquaman's skin, I think it would only be a matter of time before Aquaman gets Black Panther. Because otherwise, Black Panther is powerless to really hurt Aquaman because of Aquaman's strength and the fact that he's somewhat a skilled fighter. If there's any large body of water around, Aquaman will definitely win, even if all it takes is him getting him in the water and just drowning the cat. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this outcome. Do you think Vibranium Claws can cut Aquaman's skin? Subscribe for more videos of your favorite Marvel and DC characters going head to head. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Brian out.